What's up, guys? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. This is another live video from your friend, Uluwale. So today I'm going to talk about one of the major challenges people are facing when it comes to advertising on Google. So I want to talk about um, account suspension due to circumventing system policy. I think that is one of the commonest reasons for being suspended on Google Ads. So people ask me about this all the time. So I want to talk about it. What is the major reason for account suspension due to system uh, circumventing system policy? I have a couple of them highlighted in front of me. So I'll be talking about them one after the other. I know a lot of people are suspended due to this policy. Unfortunately, they don't even know what they did. So if you are in that situation, maybe you don't know what you do. And before you can go ahead and solve this problem, you have to understand exactly what is happening so that you'll be able to run advert without committing that same problem subsequently. So I have about five of them. So the first thing that can lead to account suspension due to circumventing system policy is cloaking. So cloaking have different categories. And what Google says about this is that when you are trying to advertise on Google ads and probably you are sending traffic to a dynamic uh, a page where the landing page you are using on your Google ad is different from the landing page that people are seeing when they arrive on your website. Probably you have a landing page A on your ad and when people click on your ad and they arrive on your landing page, instead of seeing the landing page A that you have on your website, they are seeing landing page C. So on landing page C, you are presenting something different entirely to the user. So Google see this as a very serious violation and that can lead to account suspension due to circumventing system policy. That is the first one. And the second one is if you are using a dynamic DNS, whether you are using it to rotate your advert or you are using it to rotate the content of your website that people see, this can also lead to suspension due to circumventing system policy. And these two, violations are still under clocking. The third one is if you are manipulating your website, you're manipulating your website, maybe you, you know exactly what you want to show to the users and you are pre presenting something that looks like something that Google is going to accept. And when Google eventually detects this, they are going to suspend your account for violating the circumventing system policy. And the other reason why Google can suspend your Google Ads account for violating this kind of policy is when you have been suspended subsequently for, for or previously for violating a particular policy. And now you create another Google as I can, and you are still trying to advertise the same offer that violated Google's policy in your previous account, and you are still coming back to create a new account to advertise the same thing. Your account is going to be suspended for violating the circumventing system policy. And basically, what Google is trying to say about this particular policy is that you know what they don't want, but you are trying to, you are still trying to do it. So Google doesn't want you to advertise certain products. You know about it. Probably you are still pushing that same product on Google as and that is a serious violation. And according to Google, when your account is suspended for this particular violation, you might not be able to use Google Ads again. So that is the major reason why a lot of people are being suspended for circumventing system policy. And I could say, some people don't even know what they did wrong before they can't get suspended. And if you are in that situation, I want you to take note of these things I have been mentioning. The first one is cloaking, and the second one is repeated policy violation. I have another one, and that is the third one here, bypassing enforcement mechanism. The Google, Google system have a process of reviewing your adverts. And when you set up your advert, they're going to review your advert, and probably they are still going to review your landing page. So if you, are, if you have a way to, to, to bypass the review process, Google can still detect this, and when they eventually do, they are going to suspend your account for violating the circumventing system policy. And the fourth one I have in front of me here is creating a new Google Ads account after being suspended. I think I talked about this previously, and that is another serious violation. A lot of people don't know exactly what they did initially. For example, someone called me moments ago and said, my Google Ads account has been suspended 
for suspicious payment activity. And when, is, uh, when the account was suspended for suspicious payment activity, she went ahead to appeal for that particular suspension. And the next thing when Google replied is that the account violated circumventing system policies. And then you start asking, why does a uh, suspicious payment activity leads to circumventing system policy? Only Google will give you accurate answer for this, but what is likely possible is that that particular payment method has been suspended. Probably you have been using the payment method to run advert in another account, or you have added the card to another Google Ads account, and maybe the account got suspended. Then you now come back to create a new Google Ads account, then using the same payment method. And that account can be suspended as well for circumventing system policy. So there's possibility that you can be suspended for multiple reasons. So that is another thing that people experience when they are trying to advertise their business on Google. And another thing is, if you are using one or two features on Google Ads and you are using the features to bypass the system, to push some offers that are not acceptable on the platform. For example, if you, if you are advertising products like uh, maybe arms or you're advertising sexual product that is not allowed in certain regions or in certain countries and you are trying to use some features in Google Ads to push that offer so that you can bypass the system, then if Google detects this, they are going to suspend your account. And you remember, when one of your Google Ads account is suspended, it can continue to affect you when you are trying to create a new Google Ads account. And if you have not advertised on Google before and you just started and you notice that your account is suspended for circumventing system policy, it could be as a result of one or two of the issues I have highlighted subsequently uh, previously in this video. So the next one I want to talk about is if you, are, if you submit false information during the verification of your Google Ads account, Google might require you to verify your account when you are setting it up initially. And if the information you submitted is contradicting at any point, Google might suspend your account for circumventing the policy because they actually want you to submit accurate information about you so that they can verify your information that they know that you are advertising a legitimate business. But if you submit information that is different from the information, uh, that is different from yours, then Google can suspend your account for circumventing the system policy. But interestingly, if you notice that your account is suspended for this, kind of, uh, for this particular policy and you are not violating anything, you can go ahead and appeal for the violations or for the suspension and Google might go ahead and review your account. And if possible, though it is very rare, you might get your account back and you might be able to use the account to advertise on Google's platform. So I, I, I will go ahead and drop a link to the exclusive information about this policy. And also, if possible, you might find a link to where you can appeal if you have been suspended for circumventing system policy. So if, if you, are, you, you have been suspended before and you don't know exactly what you did wrong, I encourage you to review your account in case you fall into any of these categories, maybe clocking, repeated policy violations, bypassing the system or using some of the features to game the system so that you can advertise the offer despite the fact that you know that that particular offer is not allowed on Google's platform. I hope you have learned something in this video. If you have any question, feel free to ask and I will address every single question. Thanks and bye for now.